in this video, let's introduce another iOS module, multi-peer connectivity, right? To build the communication between two devices, peers to, yeah, peer to peer, or one peer to multiple peers. But here, to play the chess, we only need two uh, peers. And before that, let's reorganize our code uh, using a Swift feature extension. So this class view controller adopts this protocol, right? Chess delegate is our own delegate, chess delegate. There are two functions inside that. So we can, what we can do is we can use an extension here, extension uh, view controller. Now chess delegate. Yeah. So we can remove this and uh, cut the two functions to here. This is just a better way to organize our code. Let's run it to make sure nothing is broken. Yeah, ignore this. This one is from the AV, AV audio player. So when we run the app on a real device, this message is gone. So don't worry about that. Now, it's time to introduce multi-peer connectivity. So import multi-peer connectivity, yes. And there are a few things we need to do to make the communication between uh, two devices within a short distance. For example, inside a house, in a family, right? So the devices can be connected with Wi-Fi or some other networking uh, mechanisms, for example, Bluetooth, maybe, yeah, whatever, but it's transparent to us. Apple does that for all of us. We need to adopt another three uh, protocols from multi-peer connectivity. And uh, we also needed to create the three objects for the purpose. Okay. So the first one, um, let's put it here or put it here. Yeah. The first one, yeah, is we'll use the same extension here. Is MC session delegate. MC means multi peer connectivity session, right? Delegate. Okay. Now wait for a few seconds. Let the auto fix to help us. You will add five functions. Five functions. Don't worry too much about that. We only need you we only need one of it, I guess. Maybe two. But that's okay, we can make it wider so here and hide this pane okay every step after every step we want to make sure we didn't break the code okay so now we keep all the five functions empty for mc session delegate and another one is extension view controller mc browser view controller delegate 
Oh, by the way, the session is for the communication, right? Session means the communication channel. You can think of it like that. So MC browser view controller dedicated. This is for uh, at the stage of building the communication, like inviting, broadcasting the advertisement, and uh, then the partner can find the advertisement and uh, join the connection. So, so browser view controller dedicated. Yeah. So this guy will add two functions. here yeah another one the last one is extension view controller that's called MC nearby service advertiser dedicated yeah it's about it is for sending advertise advertisement so MC Multi it means multi peer connectivity. Nearby service, near no nearby service. Advertiser delegate this guy. Okay, there's one method to be added here. Advertiser did receive invitation from a peer, right? Okay, now let's keep all of them empty to see if it still compiles and uh, is runnable. Run. Okay, good. Nothing is broken. Now let's um, add the code for some of them. So for this one, We'll add a method like that. Invite handler. In oh, invitation handler. Sorry, invitation handler. So unfortunately, there's no auto complete uh, helper for us here. So let's type it true. And uh, session. We need it to the oh we we still don't have the so we have to do this later right that's coming out this now let's go to the here to create the three variables we need the first one is peer ID that's the variable to represent myself right ourselves so peer id and uh, we don't need the data type here we just need uh yeah we don't need the value we only need the data mc peer id this one and we we add the exclamation mark here to make sure yeah we will guarantee it won't be nil when we use it yeah now next one session this is our communication channel right mc session session yes this guy of course um we need it to be non-nil it's guaranteed by ourselves so if this one is new or this one is new then you will crash our program yeah next one nearby service advertiser nearby service advertiser okay what's its type of course mc nearby service advertiser advertiser now here yeah we define them we can initialize them here inside the view did load okay so what is peer id 
equals yeah that's great one um c peer id display name what is the display name we can use something like something like here this is this is the name right saved in the device the device can report the the device name yeah so we can do ui device device can report the current name right for example my iphone 7 something like that oh yeah dot name so we just use a uh, the constant right or variable yeah saved in the uh, uh, ui device what about session session let's create a session opening parentheses yeah use this one peer id yeah it's our peer id security identity no we don't need that so put a near here encryption preference yeah required dot required now we can set the session dot delegate equals ourselves why can we do that because our view controller is the session delegate right here we promise we promise we are yeah we adopt this protocol mc session delegate so that's why we can set um here the delegate to ourselves now we create we define the three variables and uh, we um initialize two of them right peer id and the session we'll do this we'll initialize create this later so now let's go back to here yeah this one the second the second parameter is a session now let's check this one here hold on option key click invitation handler escaping don't worry about that so two parameters first is boolean the second is uh, optional mc session okay so this will handle the this will handle right when did receive invitation for peers yeah it will handle this event receive invitation from peer we'll see that when we run the uh, that now what about these two there's nothing to do for those two events so this happens in the stage of uh, negotiating negotiation between two peers so we only need yeah when browser view con uh, controller did finish we only need to dismiss it so dismiss animated true yeah completion we don't need that so we can remove that here same thing here when browser was cancelled okay cancel dismiss just dismiss that true and we don't need this to keep it simple now this one mc session delegate right and uh, we can report something here did change when the state did change okay so let's switch uh, among the three different states okay here the first one is dot yeah connected not connected connected okay so we can report something like print print what print connected and let's report who is connected okay so 
the peer ID is the our partner ID right dot display name let's do that and we don't need that because we are exhaust um, we put all the cases here so dot connecting and uh, case dot connected not connected okay so we'll print out the information for each of those states like that like that connected connecting and not connected maybe something is wrong okay and uh, what's that oh switch covers non case okay let's auto fix this one here um, okay let's just put it here yeah then this won't happen right it's for the future yeah. what does it complain oh I missed the code in here okay and uh, another one did receive data okay let's print out something here receive received data okay let's see what is the data yeah next we'll create two buttons here to trigger the uh, advertising and uh, joining okay but we'll do that in our next video see you then